Well, it's mid-May in 2014. We're back at my house, and uh, I just had such a blessing. Uh, uh, Pastor Mike's son, Michael, has brought me a whole bunch of horse manure composted that I'm able to use in my garden, and this is just uh, so awesome. You can see from the uh, how much we've got to go here. I've got a whole pickup load uh, that we need to unload, but it's going to be great, not only for this year, but for years to come. And uh, I'm, if you'll go over here, and my daughter Melissa's videotaping for us, you can see that we've been side dressing what I have here, and that's just going to be give our garden that much more oomph to it uh, this year. But also, I'm making a new section that I uh, haven't gardened in a while. And I've got some paper down under it, and we've got the, the horse manure compost on it, and we'll eventually put wood chips on top of that. So uh, really taking a big step forward in my garden this year, and or even today, and I'm excited about that. That's how you level things out. Go do it again. Yeah. You gonna run again? I got Melissa helping me now, so I just watch. Watch out! And Carter. Carter's doing most of it. Yeah. Get up watch there. Carter work. He's a hard worker. Look at that. Good job. You, you bring it down and scoop it off. Man, you're a big help. Thank you. We got Carter going on this compost now. He's really doing a good job. He's working hard. We can take a break now. I get excited about worms but I'm in the wood pile right now and look at how many worms there are in there I hope you can see this it's just amazing they're just it's just teeming with with earthworms I could just pull these back and they're all through here see there's another one and uh, that is this has been here got about another month of decomposition on this wood pile since the last time that I showed you this. It's really pretty cool. My wife Kathy and I are working on the front yard today and uh, this is an area right under this uh, tree right by our deck that we've never been able to grow anything and uh, we were putting some hostas out. I didn't really have too much experience with it but this was her idea and I think it'll grow. I understand they spread quite a bit so yeah, you can split them up later and they'll right. um, reproduce. And I mean, this ground was so hard, you can even get a shovel in it. Right. So doing it the back to Eden way, we would build the soil up with the compost and then put the mulch on it. I'm hoping they'll grow up here. Yeah, this is a shady uh, area. These are ideal for shade, but we put, uh, like she said, we put the composted horse manure on there first. And in this case, we actually didn't even put any paper under it, uh, just for lack of time, but uh, there wasn't a lot growing under it anyway. So we'll see what this Planting looks like. Planting berries. 
I've got some really good helpers now. I've got Carter and Alex helping me, and they are just working so hard taking this wonderful composted horse manure and putting it in the holes. We've already put in a gooseberry, and as you can see, this, this ground right here has had the composted horse manure on it for about 10 days, and it was amazing how soft the ground was already. Uh, I haven't had anything on this ground yet that we're putting the two blueberries in, and it was hard. Um, so we're filling the holes, we're making some pretty nice holes with composted horse manure, and then we'll cover all of this with. Whoa, uh, look at that tag. <laughs> yeah, we'll be covering all this with our wood chips here in a little bit. Was it? Yeah. Just to take a look here, these are the peonies that I planted uh, two or three years ago, and this is the first time that they've really come up good. As you can see, they, we need to wood chip these, and I think that'll make a lot of difference. But they've really come up nice. Okay, we have just about uh, got the compost down on our peonies, and it really dresses them up. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of grass in them, and we're getting that out. And this area right here, we're planning on putting asparagus in there. Uh, so we're just getting ready for asparagus. And then, as you've seen already, there's our berries that we're getting out. So this is really taking shape.